Hi guys, it's Morgan from the Treasure Trove, and welcome to my September favorites! I haven't done a favorites video probably since April, I think. I don't know, just my life was crazy and then I got sick, so I'm kind of going to cheat with this video. And some of these products I found in August when I was sick. I got a little alfalfa hanging out here today. Mm, great. So let's jump right into the products. The first product I want to talk about is the skincare product that I found at Dollar Tree probably in late July, early August, and it's just changed my life and my whole skin, and it is the Skin Nutrition's Youth Perfecting Intensive Moisturizer, and it looks like this. It, the Skin Nutrition's have a one, two, three step, and they have a cleanser, a toner, and a moisturizer. I got the toner. Uh, I don't really use toners, but I thought I'd give it a try since it was only a dollar. Still don't use toners, but this little guy has changed my life. My skin has never looked better using this. It has mineral oil and shea butter in it, and another product that I use all the time on my skin is cold cream, and the main ingredient is that in that is mineral oil. So this is a lot lighter than cold cream, and it I just slather it on twice a day or whenever I need it, or I actually put it on over my cold cream sometimes in my T-zone because my T-zone is where I get the driest. This is such a lightweight moisturizer that I don't feel like I'm slathering on a like a ton of product but it still moisturizes my skin. I wear it every day. If you ever see it at Dollar Tree, I would pick it up and try it. It also smells heavenly. It smells like it smells like a rose petal and that's just a nice smell. Maybe I'm an old lady, but I just like that. So I mentioned in my last face of the day video that I picked up this Essence Match to Cover Cream Concealer on my birthday. So this really truly is a September favorite. Uh, I didn't really start using it hardcore until September and I love this stuff. It's great. It comes, I have the color 10 Natural Beige. They only had two colors at my Ulta, but this actually works really well for me. This has like changed my life, you guys. I. I'm recently new to concealers like within the past year I never thought I needed a concealer I never thought I should use one because it's just an extra step and you guys all know stay cheap and lazy is my my motto here on my channel and I am very true to that I am very very lazy so this just created an extra step but it is so worth it I actually love this product so much that pretty much the entire month of September except for like when I w had my fashion show and wanted to look a little more put together I didn't wear foundation I just wore this I would just cover up my eye area I don't have a very nice chin area it's always been kind of discolored with acne scars so I would just cover up those areas it's the lighter shade and it's really really light and it's got almost a, a pink undertone which is great to use as a corrector for under eye circle and this is like my skin tone almost. It's a little bit dark, but that's why it's the match to cover. I mix these two and it creates my skin tone. Here's some swatches of them. This is a lighter shade and this is the darker one. You can see it almost matches my skin. You could cover pretty much anything. The coverage is amazing with these. The only thing I would say is that as you can see how shiny they are, they are very emollient like because they're a cream concealer so they do crease under my eyes that's why I always have to set under my eyes with a powder but that's not a big deal another thing about this is you can't go too heavy-handed with it because it will end up looking cakey but I found that you just need the smallest amount to cover anything so if you blend it out really nice it will just look like your skin it really truly does look like your second skin and this is only $3.50 at Ulta, so I really recommend picking this up if you're looking for a really good cream concealer, especially because the winter time we need more of a cream based products. So I love the stuff. Now going to another face product, I also mentioned this in my face of the day video, and that is the Monocat Soothing Care Chafing Relief Powder Gel. And this sounds really bad. <laughs> this product but I actually have been using it as a face primer I was kind of curious about face primers because this summer my foundation started to just like disappear on my face 
which that normally never was a problem for me before. So I was like, oh, maybe I should try foundation primer. I always thought that they were bullshit, you know, like the cosmetic industry just wants you to buy something else to slap on your face and pay like a ridiculous price. So I perused Makeup Alley, which is like my go-to when I want to find what people really think about a product. And everyone was saying that this is a dupe for the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer, which is, I think, like $40. Maybe I'm like way overestimating, 20. It's either 20 or $40. Either way, it's pretty expensive. And this I picked up at Target and it was six. So I figured, why the hell not? Let's just give it a try. I watched another girl on YouTube compare. She did one half of her face with the Photo Finish and one half with this, and it looks exactly the same as any silicone based primer. You can see it's just clear here. And you just rub it in and then I wait for it to dry and it creates a nice little soft veil. Just like a really nice base for my foundation to glide over. It makes a huge difference. My foundation honestly just glides right over it like I'm a smooth canvas ready to be painted on. Canvases aren't smooth, I don't know why I described it that way. It really does make my foundation stay on all day. When I wear this, I don't have to set my foundation with a powder, which is a huge plus because I have severely dry skin. That is a huge plus to not have to put something as drying as a powder on my face to set it. I've had this for two months now and you can see it's still full of product and I've used it a ton. So it a little goes a long way. I was sent this Rimmel Mascara uh, back a while ago and I didn't really try it out until August. And it is the Rimmel Scandalized Retro Glam. I was sent this because they were having some like 100th anniversary event and it was like, click here if you want a free mascara to send to you. And I was like, hell yeah, I'll do that. So at first I really didn't like this stuff, but then I realized that you have to just wipe off the excess a ton. I'm taking the Wayne Goss tip here and just wiping off the wand to the point where it looks like there's no mascara on it and it totally changed it. You can see that the brush is really big and that took a lot of getting used to, but it really does work. Like look at, I'm wearing the mascara today. Do you see these eyelashes? <laughs> Like I am so surprised at what it can do and if you do wipe off the excess, like I said, it won't clump on you at all. So I really, really loved this. So I have a few lip products to share with you guys and the first one is what I'm wearing on my lips right now and that is the NYX Matte Lipstick in the color Indie Flick. I loved this in September. It was like my go-to like last hurrah lipstick of summer. I'm not one of those people that wears a color lipstick or nail polish or eyeshadow or whatever based on the season but I just felt like because we were having such nice weather in September and we didn't really get any in August I don't know it just matches summer time feelings to me like sizzling lipsticks and I bought it because it's supposed to be a dupe for Max Lady Danger and I was this close to buying Max Lady Danger but I found that Mac that it has out of all the MAC lipsticks, it has the highest concentration of lead in it. And because I am not a very healthy person, you guys know, I have um, autoimmune issues and I thought that putting lead on my lips was probably not a good idea. So I don't know if it is an exact dupe, but I looked at pictures online where people wore Lady Danger on their top lip and this on their bottom lip and it didn't look any different. This is matte, Lady Danger is matte, this is truly matte. As you can see, I don't know, I just really love this orangey red color. Now my other lip product is the LA Girl Glazed Lip Paints. I have fallen in love with these. I picked this up in the second week of September, this one in the color Hot Mess. I saw that they had some left over at Five Below, so I picked it up and I was so happy that I got this one. And then Brian, he is so sweet. On our six and a half anniversary, which I told him that we didn't, he didn't need to get me anything. He got me the rest that I had bought myself. I bought myself this one in Hot Mess, obviously I just said that, and I bought this one in Blushing, which is like this mauve color, which I actually haven't worn yet. So 
he got me the rest in the core collection that came out first. I know they have like 18 new shades or something ridiculous. So I have all six of the original ones. These are awesome. They're super minty. They stay on for a really long time. The only thing is, is they make me have those grandma like milky corners in my mouth, which is fine. I just blot that off with a tissue. Um, for $3, these are really awesome. I know they're really comparable to the OCC Lip Tars. I wouldn't know because I've never owned a Lip Tar. And out of the six original colors, my favorites are definitely this one in Hot Mess, which I wore on my last face of the day, and this one in Koi. And I haven't tried all the six so far, but out of the four that I've tried, I still have Blushing and Pin Up to try, which is the red one. These two are definitely my favorites. This one is such a cool purple. And people were complaining that the color of the tube isn't as isn't the same as what comes out. But I I think that it's pretty much spot on. So maybe the only one that's different is this one. Like this makes you think it's a bright orange, but it's really more of a coral. That is my only qualm. Oh, I keep burping. This might be a really long video, I apologize, but I just have so much to share with you because I haven't done a favorites video in a long, long time. Lions, the tigers, the bears, oh my. Now my last favorite is a vintage favorite and it is this crazy thing that I happened to come into my possession and it sits on my bookshelf so everyone can see how weird I am. And it is this little case, it's leather case that's got the initials of somebody on it here. And it is a Victorian glove stretcher. You can see it has these ebony tweezer things. They look really scary, don't they? And the gloves sit here. You can actually put multiple pairs in because it stretches out like... So these are deer skin gloves that are Victorian. And what you do is you stick these little tweezers into the fingers and you go like this. To stretch them out to put them on because the gloves were so small they couldn't put them on they were supposed to be like second skin to a woman so I just can't believe that I own this these Victorian things they look like torture devices which I find so fascinating obviously this one isn't in great condition but I don't really care I just think that it is so awesome it's just so awesome that I have this you can stop and think how different the world is now but you really don't get a full complete grasp of really how different life was until you see things like this or look at the clothes or look at just other artifacts seeing this really made me realize just how crazy things were back in those times those times so this sits out on my bookshelf and everyone can see that I'm a complete weirdo sorry if this video was a little rambly or just I don't seem like my usual self I'm not feeling very well today I just really really wanted to make a favorites video for you guys because I went back and I looked and I hadn't done one of these since May so I had a lot of stuff to share with you I hope you're doing well it's October now so we can start thinking about Halloween which is really exciting because Halloween is my favorite holiday last year I didn't get to make any Halloween videos at all I hope that I can make some I actually went on a huge hunt to find this lipstick where is it this Fergie center stage pagan angel black lipstick which I'm kind of bummed that I bought now because I saw that NYC released a vamp like hot like vamp Halloween collection and they released an expert last one of these little guys in black and I love the formula of these and I've never tried a Fergie one so I'm kind of bummed that I bought it maybe I'll buy that anyway so I can do some vampy Halloween looks for you guys, like makeup look. I really want to experiment a little bit. I really want to do some like Halloween themed outfit of the days. Maybe do like some quick, like I pick crap from my closet and just throw it out and make a costume. I don't know if you guys would like that, but let me know if you would. I'm already started decorating for Halloween. I got like a black floral bouquet and a bat hanging up and I'm just so excited. I'm gonna go get the rest of my Halloween decorations after this video, I'm done filming this. So I hope you guys are just as excited as I am for Halloween. I love Halloween. Let me know if you love Halloween or what you're gonna be. I know um, that not everyone is. 
as, as enthusiastic about this as I am, but hope you're having a great week, and remember, stay cheap and lazy. Bye-bye. Bye-bye now. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.